now to topical questions. And our first question is from Ross Greer. Thank you. To ask the Scottish Government what its response is to members of the universities and colleges union who are striking over pay, working conditions and pensions. Minister Richard Lockett. The current industrial action is, of course, unwelcome news. However, as I'm sure the members are aware, universities are autonomous institutions and matters relating to pay, working conditions and pensions are for them to determine. Well, it's not for this government to intervene. It's worth saying, of course, that industrial action is in no one's interest, especially students. And I do expect management and unions to make every effort to reach a settlement on these matters. Ross Greer. Thank you. I thank the Minister for that answer. During the last round of sustained industrial action by college lecturers in that case, the government said it would remain neutral and then in the very next breath called for the union to suspend its industrial action. Could I ask the Minister in this case to respect the right of workers to take industrial action and withdraw their neighbour? Will the government commit to do nothing to undermine the union during this strike action? Minister. Well, of course, the unions are acting within their rights. And, uh, you know, as I said, I urge both sides to get round the no negotiating table. And I, I know employers uh, have offered that uh, in order that we can settle this dispute sooner rather than later. But, of course, they're acting absolutely within their rights and highlighting what they see as genuine concerns and their right to do so. But I think any government anywhere would, of course, want to minimise the period in which industrial action takes place. And we will continue to monitor the situation. But I do say the unions are acting within their rights. Ross Greer. I thank the Minister again for that answer. It was not an answer to the question asked about the government respecting the right of unions to action. It was simply an acknowledgement of their legal rights, which is a different thing. But can I ask the government to acknowledge the fact that at the same time as university lecturers' pay has plummeted by 20% in real terms, their workload has gone up to the point where the average lecturer works two days overtime every week. Does the government think it's uh, acceptable for any worker to see their pay, pay plummet by 20% while their workload explodes? Minister. Well, of course, I think if employees have concerns over their workload or any other issue, and I know there's a number of issues uh, that are being discussed as part of this dispute, they have every right to raise that with their employers and act through their representatives in terms of the unions uh, as well. But clearly, uh, our view is that hopefully both sides can reach an agreement sooner rather than later, so there's an end to the industrial action. But of course, staff have the right to um, act within, uh, with, through their unions. Question number two, Rona 